Hi everyone, it's been a while. Welcome to Q&A number 41. <laughs> uh, this is the first one recorded for the year 2021 for me to, you know, start making. Although you may or may not see this in 2021. I mean, I, I seriously doubt it. But, uh, that's besides the point. Uh, today we're going to be answering 10 questions. And, uh, we may or may not have a bonus question depending on, uh, if I have any written down on my phone. Which, speaking of which, I'll be reading them off my phone. So, with that out of the way, let's just jump right into it. Describe your freshman year of high school. I mean, it's just, you know, as you would think it would be. You know, you're starting out at a brand new school building that you've never been to. You know, you're, you go in earlier in the morning, but get out earlier in the day. And, uh... Yeah, freshman year was annoying, to say the least. Describe your sophomore year of high school. Really annoying, but also in a way kind of fun. It was only annoying because of, I mean, you know, standardized testing in the springtime. Uh, those are annoying no matter what grade you're in, but... I mean, overall, it wasn't too bad. Describe your junior year of high school. Now, my junior year of high school, that was probably one of my, that was probably, in terms of attendance-wise, that was probably my best year of high school, honestly. I had perfect attendance except for one day, because I, I was like, you know what, I do this on a regular basis outside of school because of scouts. Uh, they call it service day, which is a day that, you know, they just divide everyone up into different groups. And send them out to all different parts of the city. And we do community service for, you know, the community. And since I already did that on a regular basis, you know, in scouting, I decided to, you know, not do that. And I decided to, well, I skipped. But, yeah. That, by the way, is one of my roommate's cats. And, you know, they're all, you know, my cats by default since I live with them. That's Carmel. But, uh, yeah. Why do you guys want to know all of my, like, school years for? Why? That's, that's weird. Like, like, like this one. Describe your senior year of high school. Like, why? Well, to wrap up high school with senior year. Senior year was great and fun. Oh my god. <laughs> I had probably the most chillest teachers, had some of the best classes, but it was also annoying because I had to do a whole bunch of makeup work to make sure I graduate on time, which all of my friends in high school were, were like, you need to make sure you graduate with us because we ain't going to graduate unless you do. And I'm like, okay, I'll graduate. And uh, I did, I graduated. And uh, yeah, see, speaking of which, class of 2018, that's the year I graduated. Describe your freshman year of college. Well, those of you that are really close to me know that I only did uh, one semester of college. So, in order to answer the question, I did half of my freshman year of college. And, uh, yeah, after the whole situation with my dad, because it was going on during the whole time of that semester of college as well. On top of, you know... A job, scouting, a girlfriend, and other friends. It was just all too much on top of, you know, the whole thing with my dad. So I was like, you know what? College ain't for me. Jules, I'm out. See you later. And I haven't been in college since. Am I going to go back? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe one day. Describe your current year of college. Like I already mentioned, I am a college dropout. Yeah. <laughs> I have not been to college since the, some, since the uh, first half of my freshman year of college. So that would have been col uh, that'll be, uh, 18 to 19 school year. At the Ohio State University here in Marion. 
But, um, uh, yeah, I am not going to college, which is why I immediately went on to the, uh, work field. And, uh, I've pretty much been there ever since. Yeah. Again, am I gonna go back? I don't know, who knows, we'll see. Probably not, I don't know. I was thinking maybe doing, like, an online college, but... Guys, how many times do I have to tell you? Stop asking sexual questions. This is not the place for it, okay? Jesus, man. Would you pay someone for sex? Like, why ask that kind of a question? <sighs> Let's just jump to the next question. And my answer for this one is no. What are you watching right now? Alright, look. There are so many shows that I am so far behind on and shows that I've been watching a little bit here and there on and off but uh, you know on top of like uh, my main show The Man in the High Castle to numerous different kinds of anime and you know shows I've grown up with I just am on top of that YouTube I watch a lot of YouTube. I mean, you guys already know. Uh, there, there's just so much that I, I just need to catch up on. Especially anime. Because uh, my roommates have just recently got me into the full swing of uh, Attack on Titan. And uh, it's just... It's so interesting. It's, it's so good, man. Like, I've joined onto the scene of Attack on Titan way too late and uh now i have to watch the entire thing by myself to catch up and know what the hell's going on but uh if any of you have any suggestions on uh anime for me to watch drop in the comment section below and uh i'll consider it what's the best operation name you know of i don't know last one what's the worst operation that happened all right, uh, I actually had to think about this one for a second, but uh, the one that I think was probably the worst, and uh, feel free to disagree with this one all you want, but uh, we're going all the way back to World War II, so this would be uh, 1941, June of 1941, I should say, Operation Barbarossa. The Nazi invasion of the Soviet Union. Uh, basically, the whole Eastern Front turned into an attritional war at the beginning in which Hitler was like, Yeah, we co we've conquered most of the Soviet Union. But then Stalin's like, Nah. And then Winter is like, Nah. And then Stalin's like, In Mother Russia, we will come in and destroy you. And, uh, yeah, that's how, uh, the Nazis pretty much dragged the Eastern Front to an, an attritional war that could never be won. And, uh, that's how Eastern Europe turned from democratic to fascist to communist back to slowly, uh, democratic. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions that you want me to answer, feel free to drop in the comment section below. And I will get to them as soon as I possibly can. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video, whatever it may be. See ya!